We're going shopping. Come with me to Costco, everybody. I'm so excited to share with you some of my favorite reasons for loving Costco. I've loved it since before it was even Costco, since it was Price Club. I don't know if I'm dating myself, but I'm super stoked. I wanna share with you why I love shopping at Costco so much and why it's been such an important and integral part of my success journey when it comes to maintaining a healthy weight. I'm telling you, I know that it might seem counterintuitive to buy in such bulk and buy all of these products at Costco because there's so much temptation around there, and that's true, but I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks and ways that I manage the Costco trip and uh, introduce you to some really cool, innovative new products that they've got on the shelves as well. So I'm super excited to take you with me. Let's go shopping. All right, so now that you've avoided all of those middle aisles when you've walked into Costco, your first right turn, in my store anyway, is gonna be for the, um, the storage container kind of thing. So this is the medium Ziploc baggies. I also love the bag, the large ones. I just don't need any today. So I picked up the medium ones. Great for storing your meat, especially if you're buying it here at Costco, because then you can cut it into portions, portion it up into the freezer, and away you go. I also love their um, the Kirkland brand of Saran Wrap. It's their Kirkland food wrap. I've had mine for years and years and I finally just run low. So I'm gonna be picking some of that up today. Great value. And the best thing, they have the most amazing deal on parchment paper. Parchment is great because it means that things don't stick at all. So your baking won't stick, roasting your vegetables is a breeze, and, um, and cooking meats on here. It's just nothing sticking to any tin foil. I don't really love tin foil and also tin foil is really wasteful. I know this can be too, but you can reuse it. So that's a great idea. Next, we're moving on to meats. Let's go. Speaking of organic again, wild salmon, organic wild salmon. So I just love the, the color, the quality, the, the flavor of the salmon is amazing. You really can taste the difference and I love the, um, I love the price point of it. Not too bad, 34, 31, you're gonna probably get you know, three meals out of this for sure. Again, talking about meals, organic whole roasting chickens. These are amazing. So you get two of them in a pack. It works out to about $15 a chicken. I take one out right away and cook it that night for dinner. The other one, I pop in a large Ziploc freezer bag and I pop it in the freezer for another time. Amazing. You can throw it in the crock pot on high for six hours, it's done. No liquid needed. All you need is maybe some veggies in the bottom of the crock pot, throw the chicken on top and you're done. My favorite part about that is I just season it with the Kirkland Organic Seasoning. This is the no organic no salt seasoning. Great flavor combination, amazing on chicken to make chicken tenders for kids. They won't even know the difference. One thing I'm missing is almond flour. I didn't see it today. I'm gonna see if I can find it before I leave and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's really just ground almonds, makes for a great coating for chicken, amazing. So we've ducked away from the crowds, and so now I'm just gonna kinda go through what I've picked up today. So starting with maybe our morning smoothie. I love having chia seeds in my morning smoothie. High in omega-3 fats, um, really high in fiber. They're just super awesome little seeds, and you can make chia pudding. I'll share a recipe on my favorite chia pudding. So that's a really fun one. In your smoothie as well, um, great having frozen um, berries. So I love these um, pesticide-free frozen blueberries. They're awesome. And I also love that Costco's carrying some really cool organic stuff. So there's a berry cherry blend that I really like for my smoothies in the morning. And then another thing I love in my smoothies is this um, is hemp hearts. So these are done um, in Manitoba. They're super delicious. Again, high in omega-3s. Really good for skin conditions. If you have any psoriasis or eczema, hemp hearts are amazing. And they're just a really good source of protein, plant-based. So really nice there. For snacks, I really, as you remember, I avoided that whole first whole section. And that was a lot of the salted nuts, roasted nuts, 
um, you know, chocolate covered cherries and berries and things like that. I want you to stay away from that kind of stuff and make your own trail mix. So what I do, I know this is not a perfect choice, but this is the dried whole berries. They're organic. Um, and so I like the fact that they have cranberries, blueberries, and tart cherries built in here. So this is a nice little pack. And then I mix those with unroasted raw pecans. Same thing with the shelled walnuts, raw, unroasted. And the same thing with the almonds, so they're raw and unroasted as well. As for produce, I do prefer to shop with our local farmers if we can, but I like the fact that when you come to Costco, you can find Ontario asparagus, and it's really yummy. You get a big whole bunch of it, feeds the whole family. I do love that they have this yummy pack of zucchini. So I just wash it really well in, um, in a solution of vinegar and water in my sink and I just kind of soak it really well. It's not a perfect choice, I'd rather buy organically, but if you can't, this is a good option. I love pineapple. The way to find out if a, a pineapple is um, ready to buy, which is why I did that, you pull from the middle and as long as this guy comes out clean, you're good to go. Oops. <laughs> and it's, um, it's ready to go for you. So it's a good pineapple, it's nice and ripe. Speaking of ripe, the avocados are not ripe, and that's okay, because here's the deal with avocados as we all know. You know, they're not ready, not ready, not ready, too ready. So what I do is I always kind of have avocados on hand, and then I freeze them when they're ready, and then I put them in smoothies. Makes for a really nice creamy texture, high in fiber, high in great fat. I'm super stoked, check it out organic strawberries and organic blueberries. So Costco is really doing a good job of bringing in more organic produce. So I'm really happy. Usually, or sometimes, I should say, they have organic um, greens like uh, fennel or, sorry, um, uh, arugula. They have different, um, like, leafy greens. Today they didn't, so I was a little disappointed, but that's okay, I'll come back, I'll be here next week. Easy peasy lunches, you can't go wrong with tinned tuna. I had some at home already, so I didn't pick any up today, but um, either you can do the pink salmon or this one is the wild sockeye salmon. So whatever you kind of prefer. I always like to have some on hand. I just throw an entire can with a little Dijon mustard, because I've got some Dijon mustard and uh, maybe a little bit of apple cider vinegar mixed in there, and it makes for a great salad topper. Really tasty. Just put lots of veggies in there and you've got lunch. Maybe some uh, Mary's organic crackers. Another thing I forgot, I'll show you those as well oils for making your own salad dressing, for baking, for cooking. Coconut oil has a super high smoke point. So you can fry with this, but I don't necessarily know that I wanna have the taste of coconut when I'm frying vegetables. So if I am doing that or roasting them in the oven, I prefer to use avocado oil. Again, very high smoke point, really tasty, really mild flavor, I love it. You can also use it for salad dressings. Coconut oil, great for baking, because it's kind of got that little bit of a, a sweet taste to it. Again with oils, great for salad dressings, organic olive oil, extra virgin. Can't go wrong, great price, $14.99 I think, it's amazing. Sorry, <laughs> my, sorry, I'm kind of attached here. And then we've got my favorite, almond butter. I absolutely love it. I love making my own, but you know what, it's nice in a pinch to have, to have it already made for me, and this is roasted. Speaking of roasting, don't buy the roasted nuts. Really try to avoid those. We already talked about that. But if you want to have some roasted nuts, let's talk about roasting our own. I'll share some recipes on how you can just roast your own almonds or walnuts or pecans in the oven, or you can even kind of fry them with a little bit of maple syrup and a bit of salt for an amazing salad topper or a yummy snack. Maple syrup, nature's sweetener. It's amazing, I love it. It's a nectar of the gods for sure. And I think we're last but not least, I take 3,000 international units of, vit of vitamin D per day. Um, 3,000 international units of vitamin D. So that's three of these a day. Not for everybody. Get your blood work che checked with your doctor. But if you are low in vitamin D, it could, could be contributing to, um, to depression, to not feeling so great. We just don't get the amount of vitamin D from the sun that we need to to feel really good. And I want you to feel really good. There are loads of other reasons for taking vitamin D. So definitely get your blood work checked. And if you are low, this is a great place to buy vitamin D. So I'm on the hunt for those Mary's crackers and the almond flour. And we'll talk about that um, in a few minutes. Sure. All right, found them. So 
Mary's Organic Gluten-Free Crackers. I love these. They have tons of uh, grains in them. They've got flax and seeds and all sorts of different things. They kind of give me that crunch that I'm sometimes looking for that I might want from chips or popcorn or something. And I love them dipped with hummus. They're really, really nice that way. Or with guacamole, homemade guacamole. Again, another reason to use our avocados. So Mary's Crackers are awesome. I had so much fun shopping with you. Thank you so much for joining me. So I hope that kind of gave you a really good idea of how I do a successful Costco trip. I avoided all of those people trying to sample stuff and, and try to get me to try things. I avoided most of the interior of the store. There are some great clothing options and fun things that you can find in the middle, books and things like that. But uh, for the most part, I avoid that whole middle section. I shop the perimeter of the, of the Costco store just as I do a grocery store. So I'm gonna be heading home now to portion out my salmon, to freeze one of those chickens and to make another one for dinner tonight. I'm going to be washing up my veggies and getting those all chopped up and ready to go. And uh, I just hope that you had a great time because I really like the fact that you joined me for a shopping trip. That was really cool. It's sometimes cool too to be able to see the brand because sometimes people will say, oh, I found it at Costco. And I'll say, yeah, but what does it look like? Tell me what it looks like. So I hope that served you. And if that was helpful, please let me know. I will be posting some of my tips and tricks, some of my strategies on how to manage a Costco trip, as well as some of my recipes from the, uh, from the items that I bought today. So I hope that'll help as well. Well, and until next time, have a great day. I want you to love your life one bite at a time.